Hi everyone, Ta here. Samsung Dex is seriously a cool concept, but I'll be the first to admit, it's not going to be a desktop or laptop replacement, for me at least. When traveling, I love using Dex on hotel room TVs for streaming things like YouTube or Netflix. The best part? I only have to pack a single cable. It's also been great having a larger screen for following along with workouts when I just can't make it to the gym. Outside of those very specific use cases, Dex didn't see much use. With that being said, portable displays have recently sparked my interest in Dex again. You can put them anywhere around the house, use them with gaming consoles like a PS4 or Nintendo Switch, and as mentioned, it's made Dex more accessible. Seriously, I find myself using it more often than I used to, and it's likely the reason why there are rumors that Samsung is working on developing their own portable monitor. Having used Dex a lot lately, these are 5 tips I think everyone should know about for a better experience. The first time you loaded up Dex, you probably quickly realized that some of your favorite apps weren't officially supported meaning they were stuck in a non-resizable window without the option to go full screen. So for something like Netflix, that's a total bummer. Samsung does offer a toggle to try to force apps to resize, but even with that on, the experience is still poor. Apps constantly restart and still aren't resizable. Even the Netflix full screen experience sucks because the taskbar and status bar don't go away when watching content. The solution? Turn on developer options for Samsung DeX. I'll include steps in the description if you don't know how. Now every single app is resizable and Netflix works the way it's supposed to, without the annoying status bar and taskbar getting in the way. Multitasking and productivity are likely reasons why you'd want an interface like DeX over just using your phone. One of the biggest annoyances I had initially was resizing windows. It's tedious and kills productivity. My second tip is to use the keyboard shortcuts, especially the ones for resizing and snapping apps. Find the meta key, which will vary based on your keyboard. On mine, it's this alt slash start key. Then with it held down, just tap either the left or right arrow and it'll snap on either side of the display. You can easily cycle through a left, windowed, or right position by continually pressing the same combo. Want to go full screen? Press the meta plus up arrow. There are quite a few other shortcuts, like one to open your notifications, one to launch your default email or messages app, and even one to start and exit decks. Once you get used to them, keyboard shortcuts really improve the experience. Although using the phone as a trackpad is totally fine, Nothing is going to give you the precision and speed of a Bluetooth mouse. Using the right click on your mouse will open up a bunch of new shortcuts and options. You can also replicate this on the trackpad with a two finger tap. Right clicking on certain apps will reveal app shortcuts that you can drag to the home screen for quicker access. In the Samsung Files app, right clicking on folders will allow you to create a shortcut to that specific folder on your home screen. A useful one I like having quick access to is the screenshot folder. On the taskbar, if you right click an app, you'll have the option to pin it to the taskbar, so it stays there, even when the app is not open. It's a great way to always have access to your most used apps. I prefer having my most used apps here over the home screen since it means you don't have to exit out of apps to get to them. I've tested quite a few browsers with Dex and can honestly say Samsung internet is your best option. My final tip is actually several smaller tips for the browser. First, make sure that you switch to the desktop view rather than the mobile one. It'll make sure you view websites as if you're on a computer. Second, adjust the font size to suit your needs. I found 100% to be a little small. 115 or 120 is what I prefer. For apps like YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, the web version looks and functions better on Dex compared to the app itself. An issue you'll run into if you try to access them is that they'll automatically open up in the app. 
A workaround for this is to right click on the link and then click open in new tab. Doing that will open it in the web browser instead of the app. From there, just bookmark it and every time you click that bookmark, it will open in the browser. My biggest gripe with Samsung internet is that it's not on the list of supported browsers by Google. So you can't even sign on to your Google account, meaning you can't even do something like view your subscriptions on YouTube, which sort of sucks. Other than that, it works really well for surfing the web. While you're online, today's video sponsor Surfshark wants to make sure your digital life stays secure. Surfshark is a VPN service that encrypts the internet traffic sent to you and from your device, meaning nobody can see where you are and what you're doing online, especially relevant on unsecure public Wi-Fi. While visiting Japan, I fell in love with several Japanese shows on Netflix, but to my disappointment, they weren't available when I got back home. With Surfshark, I was able to unlock the geo restriction and continue to enjoy them without actually being in Japan. Try Surfshark now by clicking the link below and using the promo code TAO. You'll get 83% off and one month completely free. Don't love the service? No worries. They offer a 30 day money back guarantee too. Thank you Surfshark for supporting the channel. I've said it before, but at the end of the day, Samsung DeX still runs mobile apps. If your workflow requires desktop class apps, this isn't going to replace your computer anytime soon. However, for those with more basic computing needs like word processing, answering emails, surfing the web, or just consuming content, DeX could be an option worth exploring. When you consider how expensive phones are getting, combined with Samsung packing them with 12 to 16 gigs of RAM, I really hope a feature like DeX gets more development. As usual, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.